Hi, I'm Jessica with that hashtag show, and I'm here sitting down today with Stephen and Danielle, who are the writers and executive producers of the new Hulu romantic comedy musical series up here. Thank you guys for joining me today. Our pleasure. Yeah, thanks for having us. So just to kick things off, tell me about where the original idea for the show came from. And in particular, I'm interested to know why you chose to set it right before Y2K. Yeah, well, the you know this this story actually originated with uh, Bobby Lopez, one of the songwriters. Who um, you know the way he talks about the 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 genesis of the idea was that he was in musical theater writing grad school, uh, where they learned sort of the rules of musical theater writing, and and the rules that they were taught is you had to write musicals about characters that had big feelings and big emotions that they wore on their sleeve, um, and they had to have epic adventures and uh, kind of larger than life. Um, and the story had to be long ago and far away. And, and Bobby felt like, well, that means I can never write a show about someone like me, uh, someone who's like maybe a little quiet, maybe doesn't express all of the things that they feel. But he realized the world inside of his head was all of those things. The world inside of his head was insane and filled with drama and adventure. And um, uh, all the time, those voices in his head were, were quite musical. <laughs> Um, and so that's where the idea originated. Um, and then uh, Bobby and Kristen wrote wrote a stage musical based on the idea, um, which was set in 1999. Um, and then we came to adapt the show and we kept it in 1999. I think, Danielle, do you want to? Yeah, I mean, I think I think, you know, the, the, the biggest thing dating was different in 1999. Jessica, you might be too young to know this, but I'll just tell you dating was diff different in 1999. And I think, you know, the big difference was we didn't all have phones in our pocket. We didn't all have computers in our pocket. There was not access. You had to make more of an effort. You had to ha have your eyes up. You had to look around. You had to, you know, kind of meet people in a different way. And I think um, romance took on a different form. And we certainly tried to do that with the phone call that's, you know, between um, Miguel and Lindsay and our show, it was you're tethered to a phone line, you pull it under, you know, your bedroom door, you close the door and you're, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning and you're, you're telling your innermost secrets. And that doesn't seem to be, um, I don't know, an element of, of, of dating anymore. You know, it's, it's different and there are good different things, but I think, you know, we were really inspired um, kind of by that type of romance and what that looked like and the charm of that, which I think it's interesting now to say in 2023, there's a charm of 1999, but there really was, there was a pre-phone charm to a lot of social interaction and certainly a love story um, we were excited to tell at that moment when you just were not, you just didn't not have, um, you weren't texting and there was no other option. You had to speak, <laughs> you know, you had to like speak and do the scary thing. Definitely. And it's also a very optimistic tone that you set too. And I think that's also part of the time period and that kind of romance. Was that something that you had planned from the beginning or did that just kind of come out organically through the time and the, the romance of it all? Well, Y2K, we thought, every, again, that the world was ending. People really thought the world was ending. So I don't, looking back, it does feel more op optimistic. But I think, you know, we wanted the show to definitely have a joyful tone. And I think a, a romantic comedy wants to have a joyful tone. Um, we created, we developed this in, in the beginning of COVID. So Stephen and I stared at each other um, and along with our partners with Bobby and Kristen and Tommy for every day um, for two years, yeah, <laughs> like, you years. know. Yeah. Um, so it was an interesting, you know, interesting time, obviously a sad, difficult time um, to be creative. But I think that also kind of inspired us to do to do something joyful, you know, and, and put something joyful out into the world. Definitely. And since this is a series about bringing that internal world and your internal uh, thoughts and sort of personifying them, um, who do you think the two of you would see if your internal voices were uh, to become people in front of you? I think it would be like three different versions of my mom. I think it would just all be my mom. That's my that's my fear is that it would just be at different ages, different outfits, just all mom. Yeah, I think parents are definitely always, you know, my for me, I think it would be my dad who um we were always trying to please and who was proud of us and 
loved us and we knew it, but you know, if we got an A minus, it would be what was the minus for? And I think what was the minus for is constantly a dialogue <laughs> in my head of like, what was the minus for? Could it have been better? Was that the best? You know, and I think so many of us can identify um, with parents, but I would definitely have ex boyfriends or, you know, people I had crushes on, you know, I think that's where we get that good old fashioned, you're not enough, <laughs> you know, that good old fashioned, hey, you're not pretty enough. You're not this enough. You're not that enough. Um, unfortunately, but there's gotta be a cheerleader in there for me to, you know, too. I think I had good teachers who saw something in me. I have, um, older sisters who kind of blazed a trail for me. So yeah, it, 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 hopefully it would be a combo of, I, I immediately went to the negative, but hopefully it'd yeah. be a combo of some positive too. It's easier to think of the negative ones, sure. but we do yeah. have to those positive ones. For sure.